You can ask Charlie's at L2 CTM. Just uh, turned on the radio this morning to see what was around. It's currently quarter past seven local time and uh, hearing a couple of Australian stations coming through. So I might just see if I can uh, jump in and get a quick radio check um, or signal report more the point after they're finished. So I'll uh, pause this and if I get a hold of them I'll, um, I'll start to record again. But yeah, quite interesting actually. That AGC is working really well too, really, really well. Had on last night and just totally and utterly, well I should say totally and utterly, it just really did um, keep that dynamic range of output from different signal strengths um, yeah, really quite constant and it didn't have to touch the volume control at all from my whole, the local um, Go, not Go QRP, the local homebrew net across the whole net didn't touch the volume control once which was really nice. Anyway, I'll just pause here and uh, if something comes up I'll, um, I'll record again. Yeah, Roger, Roger. It's ZL2 Charlie Tango Mike. Just looking for a quick signal report. A very small QRP rig over here in New Zealand. Over. Roger, Roger, Zulu, Lima, number two, Charlie, Tango, Mike, two, Charlie, Tango, Mike. Just looking for a quick signal report, just transmitting five watts, ZL2, Charlie, Tango, Mike, QSL. Hey. Four and seven. Wow, that's pretty cool. Cool. Okay, well that's pretty interesting. I'm just going to put this up just for, for inter interest sake. Um, I'll, I'll keep the radio on just in case they want to have another rover and I should actually come back and say day. Roger, Roger, ZL2, Charlie Tango, Mike, do you still copy over? Roger, Roger, name here is Charlie, as in Charlie Horse, and my QTH is Wellington. I won't hold this very long. This is just a small homebrew QRP rig transmitting just on or probably just under 5 watts. So uh, still need to work on the power amplifier, but the rest of the radio uh, is working very well. But anyway, I uh, thank you very much for coming back and the opportunity to uh, have a, a quick QSO with this rig. Um, I just heard the VK stations on this morning and thought what a great opportunity to see if I could work across the Tasman with uh, just a small amount of power, which was fantastic. Anyway, I won't hold you. Um, we've just gone past the grey line here and the sun's starting to come up, so I think this will probably break down shortly, I suspect. Um, I wish you all uh, a very happy and uh, enjoyable day, and uh, we'll see you potentially uh, in the future. Anyway, 73, and uh, take care. Really? Four and seven, that's good. Perfect. Okay, right. In that case, I will definitely, um, if that is, let me just turn this down. So, um, what I've done. Just to finish off, and then we'll just keep an eye on this this uh, QSO just in case I want to come back. Um, 
Let me just do a bit of a zoom up over here. Excuse me for moving the camera. Ah. Let me just zoom up a little bit. That's close enough. Okay, so um, just finished off over here in the back right hand corner the op amp for the AGC. So that circuit's all now made up. Um, decided to leave the trim pots in there just to, if you ever wanted to, to fiddle with things I could. But at the moment it's working really well actually. Um, listen to the entire um, homebrew. So again, the evening homebrew um, uh, net here in New Zealand last night and didn't have to touch the volume control once, which was great because the, um, the stations were certainly veering up and down signal strength, so that was really good. Um, the only addition which I, which I have added, you can see over here there's a 2N3904. The emitter is grounded, the base has a 1K ohm resistor, and it's being fed by um, the 13.8 volts on transmit. And the uh, collector is tied to that emitter bypass resistor on that second IF amp. So what happens is when I go to transmit, the 13.8 uh, volts received goes to zero. So therefore the um, ALC, let's say again, the AGC circuit over here um, gets depowered. At the same time, the transmit 13.8 volts turns this transistor on and that grounds that um, leg of that capacitor on that emitter bypass resistor to ground uh, and therefore makes that second IF amp go to full gain for the transmit side of the house. So I haven't implemented any kind of automatic level control for transmit. Um, traditionally I haven't in the past. I, I may look to do so, but at the moment you know, this little electric microphone seems to be working quite well. Um, uh, compression, that's a different question. I might look into that at some stage, but that's a that's a separate topic. So anyway, that's working really well. As you can hear there, it's, it's clearly getting enough gain um, through the whole circuit and back out again to get across the TASM at least, which is nice. Um, other than that, no changes. Just um, added the meter to the front of the panel here. Uh, acknowledging it's not a logarithmic display, so it's just more of an indication of what that AGC voltage is doing. Um, and it's quite nice once you get some some, some good signals. It's, it's, but again, you see here the signal's quite weak, so it's just doing no. It's it's trying to make the amplifier go to full gain. It's um it's not trying to knock it's not trying to knock any of that back. Um, oh, apologies for moving. Let me just come out a bit. Might be a bit easier. Other than that, that's about all really. So I'll say 73 here. Just there was an opportunity just to record that because I thought it was. Um, Quite an achievement to get across a test, and I don't do that very often with the little rigs, so um, that was a good one. Okay, cheers all.